the world's film capital is the studio that stands as a monument to the great genius of Walt Disney, master of a new form of popular art that has captivated millions of moviegoers. With the antics of his entrancing animated cartoon characters, he has built an enterprise that employs 700 skilled and highly specialized artistic workers. Upon the simple theory of animation, a new art has been created. Cartoons are drawn in different poses as on the pages of a book. Riffle the pages and the cartoons go into action. The first step in the making of animated cartoons is a conference of directors, technical experts, and artists who draw the characters first in pencil sketches. This animator studies his own facial contortions in a mirror to produce the ludicrously realistic expressions of Pluto the Pup. On a drawing board illuminated from below, each move is drawn as a separate picture by the animators. All this is preliminary rough drawing and is done in pencil. Thousands of sketches like this are necessary for the completion of each animated cartoon film. Next, the pencil sketches are photographed a single sheet at a time. Then the film is viewed on a small projection machine called a moviola by the cutters who put the various sequences together in a preliminary story. Now in the projection room, the rough story and penciled animation is reviewed. The okayed sketches go next to the tracing department, a separate building of the Disney establishment. Here each minute line is reproduced in ink on sheets of celluloid. Great care is taken that every characteristic and detail put in by the original artist is faithfully copied. In the chemical laboratory, paint colors are blended from secret formulas in preparation for the job of finishing off the celluloid tracings. More than 1,500 different shades have been used on a single production. Meanwhile, a director goes to work with composers who create a music score to fit the film footage of each sequence. Often, the director acts out the moods and antics of Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. Now, a symphony orchestra rehearses the special music score. The sound department swings into action. The traced overlays are assembled, and as the component parts of the production are shaping up, artists are at work painting the stage settings of the animated cartoon story, the backgrounds done in watercolor. For these paintings, the finished celluloids are placed to make the completed pictures. As each individual picture becomes a finished composition with background and overlays, it's ready to be photographed for one frame of motion picture film. Under the master technicolor camera, the same background is used for each sequence, but the traced color celluloid is used for only one shot, and so a distinctively American form of art comes to light. 